Hey you guys, I'm Molly with Design Loves Detail and we are so excited to be talking about countertops today. I get a lot of questions on this um, and over the years of being a designer, I've learned a lot about countertop materials and kind of the pros and cons to each. And I want to share some specific ones that I think you guys are going to love. So stay tuned. All right, so be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when our next videos are live. I'm gonna be giving you a look today at some spaces that I haven't even revealed yet from the remodel project as we look at the countertops and some ideas for you. In our kitchen, we did quartzite, which I love. Uh, it's expensive, so I could only afford to do it on the island. This is silver, silver Macubus, so close. Um, there's also white Macubus, and I love quartzite because it's a natural stone. Um, it is very durable. It, I think the biggest drawback is the cost of it, but you do get a really beautiful, um, a lot of them have a veining like this and, and just a really uh, unique look because it's, it's a full slab and it's not like a lot of repetition in the pattern. So it's usually kind of like a large scale um, pattern because you're getting a real slice of a rock. So love that, um, it's good with heat. It is uh, similar to granite in that way that you can not be as worried about cutting on it and, and things like that because it is a very solid, hard, um, dense surface. This surround in the kitchen, I did a granite. This is for cost purposes mostly. However, I do really still like granite. Um, and there are many granites that don't have like a dated look. Sometimes people are thinking, oh, granite's like a thing of the past. I don't believe that. There are definitely certain ones that I'm like so over, but if it's simple like this, I mean, this really almost looks like a marble because you, it's still a natural stone and there's not a lot of, it's not overly patterned. This is called nocturnal and I did it honed finish. My island is honed finish as well, which means that it is more of a matte coating instead of the really glossy that they usually use. You can request that. Some places do it, some places don't. Um, and sometimes you need to find the slab already honed or not honed. But um, I've been really happy in terms of, of this granite. It will show, when it's dark like this, it will show hard water. So we did have that issue. Um, luckily we were able to get it cleaned up. Um, then found, I think it's CLR that took the hard water off. So that was good to know because it was looking a little sketchy over there, but, but um, it cleaned up well. So I have been happy with the granite. In our laundry room, we did a butcher block. This is actually like a prefab one from Ikea. They sell slabs of butcher block there, if you didn't know. And they come into different wood finishes. Uh, if, you're, if you're worried about, you know, the, the fact that they will show like cuts and things like that, like an actual butcher block, um, you can use it in a laundry room space where you're not gonna have that issue. And, um, and I would say the drawbacks to wood too is that it does absorb, like, so if you have it as a kitchen counter, it'll absorb like things that you have on there uh, and not just not as durable as some. I love it though for the look and I think it's a great solution for somewhere like this in a laundry room where you're not going to have, like we don't have a sink in here, so it's not really being exposed to the moisture and things like that. And they're, it's really cost effective. So this is um, a, good, a good countertop option if you're looking for something affordable and that won't be getting a lot of the um, use uh, the way a kitchen countertop would. In the primary bathroom, we did do a Carrera marble in here. And, and I like marble, I love the look of it. Again, it's a natural stone, so I'm drawn to the fact that it has that raw, natural element. But, in a kitchen, be aware that marble can etch and stain. So if you were to spill like um, red wine or grape juice or any of those darker colored like liquids and things, um, the stone can absorb that and it's not ideal. In a bathroom, um, especially a primary bathroom where it's adults using it, I'm not as worried about it. So I, I do use it periodically. In bathrooms, we haven't had any issues with it, but it is a little bit more maintenance. So. I don't usually use Carrera in a kitchen. That's me. Um, if you don't have children or pets or husbands or, you know, maybe you're fine. But I do love a Carrera in a bathroom. Here in the remodel project is another place where I used a granite. This is actually a leathered granite. So it's more of a honed finish, but you can actually feel the texture in the stone. So it's not completely smooth uh, like a polished or flat honed um, granite would be. 
And I love this one because it has that really raw feeling. It almost looks like a soapstone, if you guys are familiar with soapstone, which can be a little bit temperamental, uh, soapstone can. So it's, it's not as good of a countertop, but this one is because it's granite and it has that uh, raw feel like I was mentioning and, and is more affordable than some of your other natural stones like the soapstone or your quartzite or marbles in most cases. Those are usually a little bit more expensive. So this is kind of a good mid-range um, option, a little bit more expensive than some of the standard granites, but then you get that more natural raw stone look for um, a, more, a more approachable price. And then also you get the function of it being granite and more, um, more of a hard surface, which is great. In the surround area of the remodel kitchen, I used what is called fantasy brown. And a lot of people call this a granite. It's actually a marble, but it's a harder marble than your typical um, Carrera marbles and things like that. Uh, it's just been through the dolomitization process and that actually makes it a harder stone. So it, it is similar um, to, you'd almost think it's a granite if you feel it because it's not as porous as some marbles are, which is, which is good um, with it being a harder surface. I love the tones in this one. It's a little bit more of the grays and kind of those browns and creamy tones, which is great for this. I uh, used, of course, a color for the cabinetry that's kind of in these tones and it's almost a, a gray with a green undertone, which was amazing for what I wanted. Um, so this is a really pretty stone and it's one that has a lot of movement. So, you know, you may want to use it in just a certain area um, rather than across your whole kitchen. Uh, I did it just like on these surround spots on the either side of on either side of the range so that um, it kind of is more of a highlight instead of going through the, throughout the kitchen in this bathroom we used carrera marble as well i just wanted to show you because you can kind of see the difference in this countertop versus the other one where i did the carrera the other's got a little bit more of a white dominance and then this one is almost more of a totally gray stone even though they're the exact same marble so that gives you kind of an example of what I was talking about with the variation in natural stone, um, which I think, I don't know that I've ever seen a, a piece of Carrera that I didn't love because marble is really beautiful, but this will give you kind of another example of, of how much that can vary. So, so you can, when you're designing, make sure that you pick what you want in the exact slab here too. Here's another little sneak peek for you at the remodel project here in the primary bathroom. I did a mix of countertops for the main vanity. I did the steel gray leathered like I did on the kitchen island. And that looks great in here. Again, really functional because it's a granite. Um, and then this, which looks like marble, is actually a quartz. And quartz has some definite advantages and a couple of disadvantages too. There's kind of pros and cons to everything, but um, I love that they have gotten really good at making it look like real marble. You can see that veining is really pretty. Um, when quartz first came onto the scene, I feel like some of the veining just didn't look very natural and real, but um, it's come a long way. And what's good about it is that quartz is, it's actually a man-made material. So they're able to produce it, um, which means there's less variation in the look of, of the stone. So it's not like the natural stones where every single slab is completely different, um, which, which can be really good when you're doing a project. For instance, if you run out of material, um, getting more, you're more likely to have it look consistent than if it were natural stone. Um, and then it's also a very hard surface. So it's not porous like marble. So you can get the look of marble without the issues of staining and etching that marble has. It is more expensive um, as it is like a man-made product and um, there's a lot that goes into it. So it can get kind of spendy. Um, this was actually a remnant piece, so I got a good deal on it, uh, which was nice because I just needed a little bit for this vanity. But this is called Avenue White, and I love it. I think it's a really, really pretty one, a good alternative to marble if you want something that won't stain, but you still want that look of marble. In terms of disadvantages though with quartz, um, they are not very heat resistant. So natural stone, most time like granite, you can set a hot pan down right on there and it's not gonna hurt it, but it would damage quartz if you were to take a, a pan right off of the stove or out of the oven and put it straight on here. I think that that's the main, I can't think of any other real disadvantages to quartz other than the cost and the heat issue. Thank you guys for watching today. I'd love to hear which countertop material is your favorite or what you guys have found 
you love in your own home or projects, um, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of when our next videos are live as well.